Mango trees, if left untended, can get very, very large. Today we'll take a look at why you should prune your mango. I'm going to show you a mango orchard that has not been tended for probably four to six years. This is just a little ways away from our land. And because there's nobody here, and because it's not being tended, we can pick all the mangoes we like. But there are not nearly as many mangoes as there should be. Okay. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, girl. Come here, girl. Everybody likes to come and help themselves to the mangoes in here. Oh, it's all right. You can have a mango. Now look around in here. You see how dark this is? This is not good. This looks like Dagobah. The closed canopy is not a good thing. See, these, these mango trees are now touching, and if you look up through the centers of the trees, they're all closed. This invites in too many fungal issues. Things, the leaves start to go black. You get spots on the mangoes. You get fruit that doesn't get enough sunshine in the middle. And you get rot issues. And you just don't get enough light and air through to get really good mango production. So you get mangoes kind of around the tops where they're getting sunshine and they fall down in the middle. But this whole area really needs to be massively opened up. This could be a, an incredibly productive orchard again. You could get thousands and thousands of pounds of mangoes out of here. This is probably about an acre of mangoes. Uh, but as it is right now, it's only getting a fraction of the production that it could. And some of the trees, as you can see the tree to the edge over here, this tree is getting too big. See how large that is? When a mango falls from a tree that size, it explodes. So let's go see if we can find some mangoes, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This mango here, See, it's got a hole in it. Something has already burrowed into it. It's nice and firm on this side, but it's smushed on this side. This is where it, it hit the ground. And so it's gonna be all gummy and gooey, which is unfortunate because it would have been a beautiful mango. And the higher up they fall from, the worse it is, obviously. It's nicer if they're short enough that you can actually hand pick them. Or if they are taller, you know, you stay on top of it regularly and you use a picker to do it. But the very best is when you can just go like, and pull them off. And you could tell that these trees were originally, they were cut low and were spread out. You know, they, they were trying to make a structure on them. And, you know, they're starting to grow through the center again. And then they're getting overshadowed. You know, the ones at the edges here, which are getting more light, they've gotten really big because they're not fighting as much as the ones in the center are to get light. And they're starting to overshadow. They're getting really tall. And then you're getting mangoes that are dropped from high up that are smashing on the ground and they're no good anymore. Here's another one. So you can see how it's all smashed up on the side. It was a nice looking mango. But it looks like it got nailed, bruised, no good. These two right here have been pecked by birds. They were up in the canopy. It's unfortunate you can tell they were beautiful mangoes. They are beautiful but they've got big holes in them thanks to the birds, which lets rot in and obviously means you can't sell your mangoes. You may not want to eat them either. Too bad. Here's a couple more. This one is perfect. 
This one probably developed in a nice sunny open spot where the breeze came through and this is a beautiful, sellable, enjoyable, wonderful mango. This one here has black spots on it. These spots will rot. Sometimes you get them and they're just, they're just ugly, but these have actually started to open and rot. You can see the bottom is just done. This one goes home. This one hits the dump. But if this had been pruned better and opened up, you would get a lot more mangoes that look like this. You know, you may get a ton of production off of a gigantic tree, but you're not necessarily going to get a ton of excellent fruit off a large tree because it's harder to harvest. You have more issues with fungi and other things. So these trees just got cleaned up, opened up in the middle again, and they weren't touching each other. We've got some sunshine through here and they were reachable. We could have a lot less damaged mangoes, but unfortunately the owner is long gone and nobody knows what's going on with this property. It's just an old agricultural project that's gone to pot. It's too bad. But that's why you should prune and stay on top of them if you have them. Don't let the canopy all touch. You need to get that sunshine through there for the sake of beautiful fruit and so you don't have the diseases. And it's easier to um, keep an eye on what's eating the mangoes. And if they do fall from a short tree, they're not going to explode. Thanks for watching, and until next time, may your thumbs always be green. <music>